Oh, no, 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 I am actually today going to do my first ever DIY do-it-yourself raw dog food recipe. This is my most, well, one of my most highly requested videos. How often do you see it in the comment section? A lot. Don't lie, he never looks at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe specifically, I can get from all of our local grocers and or farmer's market. So I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Stay tuned to the end, cause I have a lot of caveats. You, I'm gonna answer pretty much every question I know you're gonna be asking. I'm a little nervous that they're going to, oh gosh, our car's dirty, but that they're gonna scoff at my big camera. But do you have the recipe list? Let's do it, I have it on my phone. I'll put the ingredients kind of right here on the screen. And, but basically it's just a mixture of meat, uh, organ, and some vitamin and minerals. You saw the clips of us in the grocery stores. Uh, these are local markets where we sourced all of these ingredients. And the whole point of this was to show you guys how easy it can be to formulate and make your own dog food. Obviously, I'm a big advocate of raw, food and you're gonna see that none of this is cooking. So, yep. So while Mikey starts weighing out the ingredients, we partnered with Scott the Dog Dad. He actually sent me a specific formula recipe based on Finn's needs. You can see Finn right here at about a thousand calories. And Scott is an awesome resource who can help you guys formulate your own recipes for your dog. So this recipe that we're making here, while it could work for a lot of dogs, and this is a really good beginner recipe, and you, you guys can absolutely experiment with this, it was formulated calorically for my dude here, Finn. So what is the first ingredient you're weighing? We've got five and a half ounces of ground beef. Exactly, and I highly recommend grass finished, grass fed, 100% grass finished, uh, beef. So the next ingredient we have that Scott sent us are chicken wings. So we need two ounces of chicken wings. Mmm, fresh. Yeah. Do you may think, for example, that dogs should never eat chicken wings. A lot of you are watching this going, oh my god, stop doing chicken wings. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Why is it okay for, for dogs to eat raw chicken wings? They're not cooked and soft. They're not gonna break apart. Yeah, exactly. So the harm and the danger of a chicken wing or any, any, any bone really for a dog is when it's cooked because it becomes brittle and it can splinter off and the dogs can have choking hazards. When it's raw like this, it's still actually more flexible and the dogs can crunch it. And it's actually the best toothbrush for dogs because it grinds up against their teeth and the tendons and the cartilage actually act as floss. So this is an excellent dental. Um, How many ounces? Uh, so what we're looking Just for- Two wings is too heavy. Two ounces, well what does it come to? For almost four. Okay, so we'll just cut it. Let's Please practice that. safe knife skills. You These see, are not really butcher knives. I know, we need, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, that's a little, Haven's like, what the heck? There's a lot of different mindsets of how people formulate. 2.2, that's good close enough, enough because the rest is scraps. Exactly, and that's a good caveat mm -hmm. to, to this and a good sidebar because I am of the belief that dogs can get balanced diets and meals over time. In the wild, a dog wasn't eating or a wolf wasn't eating the exact macronutrient profile or micronutrient profile in the exact same way every single day, right? They're gonna eat what they have available. Sometimes it's gonna be all fat. Sometimes it's gonna be a little bit more produce. It's just gonna vary. So I believe that, you know, if the recipe recalls, calls for about two ounces of a certain meat and we give them two, what is that, 2.2? 2.2. To me, that's fine. Over time, the balance will occur. I also, okay, so wait, before we go to that, what, uh, what's next? Uh, this is pork well, kidney. Okay, so pork kidney, we need one ounce. From non-dialysis pork. <laughs> non-dialysis pigs. Yes, non-dialysis <laughs> pigs. These are healthy kidneys. Yes. How many ounces? Uh, okay, so for pork kidney, mm. kidney, we, we need one ounce, just, yeah, it's fine. One ounce? One ounce. Next, we're gonna do beef heart. Babe, I think it's about, it's one ounce for beef heart, so put that in. Perfect, exactly. Are you gonna become like a dog dog food chef? Yeah. <laughs> this is massive. And if you guys are enjoying this so far, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. We are on a mission to save all the damn dogs by promoting raw, fresh food feeding like you see here, promoting fostering and rescuing rescue dogs, 
uh, not spaying and neutering early. So these are, um, if, you're, if you're interested in that and you believe in that and your heart beats dog, click that subscribe button. $3.86 two and a half pounds of liver and we need one ounce. Yeah. This, this would last forever. Yeah, it really, it really it, would. It really would. And I think, you know, these tend, at least here in Austin, I'm sure it varies regionally. These are pretty affordable meats. And these, these actually came from, fam from farms right here in the area. How much? Uh, Not very much, one and a half? One and a half yeah. ounces. <laughs> Just <laughs> my head on the things. island. All right, next we have what? Wild sardines no salt in water and right. we need and how are these sourced sustainably caught yep um, so we need three and a half ounces these happen to be four and a four and a 4.4 4 ounces per can which is nice so it's almost close to the whole thing and someone's ready to eat <laughs> they're so excited and you can just feed these straight out of the can as a little treat yeah you can all right and let's see what this looks like you know how we make it exactly three and a half ounces? That means you need to eat one. Oh, there are some bones in here, and that uh, for my dogs is perfectly, perfectly healthy. So and look how easy that it's just breaking up like tuna fish. Yeah. Um, I think we'll be pretty close to the three and a half. And our last ingredient oh. one ounce of oyster. Okay, yeah, one. Oh gosh, there goes my cat, which is fine if she wants to eat on this. So, uh, she Hayden. doesn't need. A thousand calories. But. No, this would be way too much for her. She wouldn't even eat that much. Sure. She loves, loves, loves sardines, and she gets yeah, them she about once weekly, maybe twice weekly at most. But once weekly, I'll give her some canned sardines. So we got the oysters in there. Next, we need. We need yep, we need one medium organic egg. The whole egg. Yeah, the whole egg. We we feed the shell included. I have a video linked up here. Ta whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> right here on uh, why eggs are beneficial and how you can feed them to your dog. So go click that or watch at the end. Okay, fish oil, one teaspoon. Okay. So we have that measured out here. If someone will let us. Yeah, put, put it in, the in. Bowl. one teaspoon. And then we need flaxseed oil. We need an eighth of a teaspoon. So let me get that. And then we need for the kelp, we need a half level scoop. So put that in. Kelp? This is really messy by the way. What Oops, is I the deal? It on the floor. You Let's scoop that up. <laughs> this is very expensive. <laughs> Kill. And then what else did I need? need the, oh, the vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil, one drop. Boop. Perfect. And then we need Green. spinach and kale. So spinach, we will do I have to use my knife skills for a change. two ounces. All right, let's see. As my cat. Oh, sorry, oh. Damon. She doesn't like greens. I know. Well, don't let her, don't cover it up. Look at her. She's going ham into that sardine. Look, you got, you got fish on her. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, more greens. The poor boys this are like, Finn's like, why can't, why can't I have it? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I dropped a piece. You dropped a piece. Where's Bentley? Oh, there he is. Okay. But of course, when you're dealing with raw meat, make sure you wash your hands when you're finished. Yeah, a big misnomer, guys, is that raw meat is unsafe. Uh, for dogs, which to me is just asinine. Oh, but, look at that. Oh, no, 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 Finn. No, naughty Finn, not, no, that's not funny. All of your stuff will be gone. Seriously, I'm like, in sh I've never seen him do that. That was insane, I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's ready to eat. Let's, yes. let's let him taste it for real. Okay, but I forgot something. I just realized we missed a really, really important Part, and I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> so we need to do it over again? No, no, no. We did the recipe right. Uh, the problem is we need to, uh, 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 come here Finnegan. We need to uh, food, put the vegetables in a food processor or at least ferment them because dogs mm. are not able to really get the nutrients out of vegetables if you don't help them break it down. This is the consistency you're looking for. Kind of super finely chopped. It's almost like minced. It's now time for Finnegan's taste test. But before we jump into watching him eat the food, which hint, I've already watched it. It's adorable, it's awesome. I wanna talk about a couple really important things. One, if you want a recipe that's formulated specifically for your dog, 
you can contact Scott the dog dad. He is the one who formulated this specific recipe for Finn. His information will be linked down below and he'll do custom meal plans for you, which is really cool if you wanna do DIY. A couple other, other caveats is, obviously for the record, I am not a veterinarian and I am not a canine nutritionist. My degree is in human nutrition and while there are a lot of parallels, there are some slight differences. So I'm literally just sharing this recipe as something that I would feed my dogs, that I am about to feed my dog. Uh, and I also, also on that note, want to say that I wholeheartedly and with great respect do not believe that there is any one person in this entire world that is a complete expert on canine nutrition or pet nutrition. I think that it's still a very new science, if you will, and this is just my opinion, meaning that there's so much that we still need to learn, all of us. What I will say though, is I believe in the importance of common sense. I believe in the importance of looking at dogs in the way that they would naturally eat and naturally consume, and also testing your dogs based on how their metabolic levels are. What are their blood sugar levels like? What are their ketone levels like? You guys know that I test my dogs on that as well as you can get some nutrition and uh, blood tests done with your holistic or integrative vet. So these are things that you can do to make sure that you're keeping your dog in balance because with everything I do and everything I recommend, I always, always am telling you guys, partner with a holistic and our integrated veterinarian with anything and everything you do. They're a great person and great resource to have on your team to help make sure you're, you're doing the best for your dog. If this is the first time that you are feeding raw, your first introduction introduction to raw food, click the video links up here. I have a ton of playlists for you and I'll link down below. Eddie. with yourself, love yourself, uh, and if you have any concerns on doing a DIY or do-it-yourself raw food diet, I recommend, especially for newbies, to start with a pre-made, something you would find at your independent pet store in the freezer section that's raw and claimed as complete and balanced. That way you don't have to worry about formulating or sourcing the ingredients, it's all right there for you. And then after you do that for several months or a few years, if you wanna graduate and start doing it yourself, maybe save a couple bucks, you absolutely can do that. And if you wanna see what my favorite supplement is for my dogs, click the video linked, linked here. And if you wanna see a really fun video I did with my boys, click the video linked here. And I hope you have a beautiful